Zelensky, we gave away our nuclear weapons and got full-scale war and death in return. This post received a score of 27,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Yeah, well the rest of the aspiring nuclear nations took notes. It's a shame that it worked out this way, but nobody's ever gonna consider giving up their nukes ever again. Why should they? The only thing keeping a World War III from happening is MAD. The more states that have nukes, the more opportunity there is for accidental MAD. There have already been numerous harrowingly close incidents just between the US and Soviet Russia. Who know, you might even get intentional uses of nuclear weapons from unstable states or people who just don't care about humanity. Minimizing nuclear proliferation is vital for the survival of us all. Nuclear disarmament ended the day Ukraine was invaded. Sadly for the sake of all of humanity, I agree. Well if aliens ever invade at least we'll have plenty of ammo. They will shut off our nukes and turn them on again. That's a relief. Maybe they will protect us from ourselves. They're indifferent to humanity. They're focused on the planet. Humans come and go, but the environment needs to be maintained for future inhabitants. Nice try. I'm not getting turned into stew. First lesson of statehood, there is no substitute for nukes. Well, maybe SMTH even more destructive and horrifying, who knows. Moon lasers. This is one where I agree with Ukraine having nuclear ambitions. Any sensible country in their position would. But in fairness to the leaders at the time, those nuclear weapons were operated and guarded by what was left of the Soviet strategic rocket forces who had made it known they were still loyal to Moscow. They had also made it known they wouldn't be leaving Ukraine without the nukes. So as long as Ukraine had those nukes the country was effectively occupied by Russia. Ukraine in 1991 barely had a functioning government and was in no shape to fight but even if they would have been mad. They had no other option but to give them back. Russia could have detonated them on Ukrainian soil as they had control over those nukes. The problem is that Ukraine waited way too long to join EU and NATO. The Baltics did it very quickly within the first 10 to 14 years, when Russia was still weak. Ukraine kept their relationship with Russia open in terms of trade and dependencies, which made Ukraine vulnerable for Russian meddling. The wish to join NATO only established itself after 2014. Russian gas is still flowing through Ukrainian pipelines to Austria, Slovakia and Hungary. Well. Weren't they also run by a Putin flunky for most of the time? Yes, Viktor Yanukovych, his Western lobbyists were Paul Manafort and Tad Devine, by the way. Trump's and Bernie Sanders' campaign manager in 2016. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.